The Broadway Limited was a passenger train operated by the Pennsylvania Railroad PRR, between New York City and Chicago. It operated from 1912 to 1995. It was the Pennsylvania's premier train, competing directly with the New York Central Railroad's 20th Century Limited. The Broadway Limited continued operating after the formation of Penn Central PC in February 1968, one of the few long-distance trains to do so. PC conveyed the train to Amtrak in 1971, who operated it until 1995. The train's name referred not to Broadway in Manhattan, but rather to the Broadway. A PRR's four-track right-of-way along the majority of its route. Topic: History. Topic: Pennsylvania Railroad. The Pennsylvania Special was one of nine express trains the Pennsylvania Railroad PRR operated between New York City and Chicago. On November 14, 1912, PRR renamed it the Broadway Limited, to avoid confusion with the similarly named Pennsylvania Limited. The name, though spelled as Broadway, honored PRR's four track Broadway main line. In the heavyweight era the Broadway Limited was an extra fare, all-sleeper no train with an open platform observation car at the end, such as Continental Hall and Washington Hall. The scheduled running time was 20 hours until it was reduced to 18 hours in 1932. Further reductions took place between 1932 and 1935, with the final heavyweight running time at 16 hours, 30 minutes. On June 15, 1938, the Broadway Limited received lightweight streamlined cars to replace its heavyweight steel cars. On the same day, rival New York Central Railroad's NYC 20th Century Limited was streamlined. Raymond Lowy styled the new cars and the PRR GG1 electric locomotive as well as some streamlined steam locomotives for PRR, notably the S1 and T1 duplex drive engines. The Broadway Limited was one of four pre World War II PRR trains to receive such equipment, the others being the General, New York Chicago, Spirit of St. Louis, New York St. Louis, and Liberty Limited, Washington Chicago. Other PRR trains continued to use heavyweight cars until after the end of World War II. Most of the 1938 cars were built new by Pullman Standard between March and May of that year, but the diners, RPO and baggage cars were rebuilt from heavyweight cars by the railroad's Altoona shops. The Broadway Limited was the only PRR train to be completely re-equipped with lightweight sleeping cars before World War II. The train's running time was further reduced to 16 hours. In 1949 PRR again re-equipped the Broadway Limited with new streamlined equipment. The all-sleeper train carried compartments, bedrooms, duplex rooms, ruettes for a single occupant and drawing rooms for three persons. The buffet lounge observation cars built by Pullman Standard were named Mountain View and Tower View. They had squared off observation ends, instead of the tapered or rounded ends in the 1938 version, and contained two master rooms with radio and showers. Also introduced was a twin unit dining car and a mid train lounge car, such as Harbor Rest, described by a PRR brochure as cheerful, spacious, richly appointed for leisure with deep, soft carpets. Latest periodicals are in the libraries
The February 1956 official guide listed the westbound Broadway Limited train 29 consists as having 14 cars normally assigned, 9 sleeping cars between New York and Chicago, 1 additional sleeping car from New York continuing through to Los Angeles on the Santa Fe's Super Chief, the twin unit dining car, lounge car, and observation car. The train departed New York at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and arrived at Chicago the following morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. The Broadway Limited was not immune to the decline in passenger rail transport, though it resisted longer than most. The 20th Century Limited began carrying coaches in 1957. In late 1967, when the Illinois Central Railroad's Panama Limited also began carrying coaches the Broadway Limited became the last, "...all Pullman," train in the United States, a distinction that did not last long. PRR merged the Broadway Limited with the General on December 13, 1967. The train was one of the few long-distance trains to survive the merger of PRR and NYC into the Penn Central PC. Topic Amtrak Amtrak's incorporators selected the Broadway Limited as the new company's sole New York-Chicago route. Amtrak operated a Washington, D.C. section via the Port Road branch, which separated at Harrisburg. In the 1970s, the Broadway Limited experienced chronic lateness due to poor track conditions. The route changed in 1979 when PC successor Conrail abandoned trackage west of Youngstown, Ohio. These changes included, a minor reroute over the ex-New York Central in Gary, Indiana in 1979. A major reroute over the ex Baltimore and Ohio Railroad in Indiana and Ohio, due to Conrail's desire to abandon part of the former Pittsburgh, Fort Wayne, and Chicago Railway. This change took effect on November 10, 1990. Amtrak ultimately discontinued the Broadway Limited on September 10, 1995, in the face of significant funding problems. The Broadway Limited then earned $6.6 million against costs of $24 million. Amtrak replaced it with the All Coach Three Rivers, which would in turn be discontinued in 2005. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Equipment. Pullman Standard built the entirety of the equipment pool for the 1938 lightweight re-equipping, with the exception of two dining cars which were rebuilt in PRR's Altoona shops. The equipment delivered included eight 18 Rouette sleeping cars, two sleeper bar lounges, four four-compartment, two drawing room, four double-bedroom sleeping cars, two 13 double-bedroom sleeping cars, and two View Series sleeper buffet lounge observation cars. The dining car seated 24 at tables in both 1 by 1 and 2 by 2 configurations and featured a small bar at one end with seating for two. The sleeper bar lounge included a secretary's room, barber shop, shower bath, and a bar lounge with both booth and chair seating. The Broadway Limited received additional Pullman equipment in 1949. This included Harbor Cove and Harbor Rest, sleeper bar lounges with three double bedrooms, and Mountain View and Tower View, sleeper buffet lounge observation cars with two master rooms and a double bedroom. The Broadway Limited received coaches for the first time in 1967, when it merged with the General. Under PC the train carried, two or more coaches, two lounges, twin unit diner, and four sleepers." This was better than most remaining passenger trains, which often had only two three cars. Amtrak singled out the Broadway Limited for special treatment and in 1972 completely refurbished its equipment, most of which was XPC, although former Union Pacific Railroad sleeping cars were also used. Amtrak also added a slumbercoach to the consist. 
In 1974 Amtrak tried out rebuilt six-bedroom, eight Rouette X Rock Island sleeping cars, but their limited capacity reduced revenue. The Broadway Limited began receiving rebuilt Heritage Fleet cars in 1980, and Amfleet coaches thereafter. Sixty-eight cars were rebuilt at a total cost of $9.8 million. <laughs> Notes <laughs>